Hey there, history buffs. Today, I'm diving into the remarkable story of Dar al rakam a place that became a cornerstone of transformation. Picture this, it's 7th century Mecca, a bustling hub of trade and culture, but also a place of inequality and injustice. Now enter Muhammad, a man who would later be known as the Prophet. His revelations were groundbreaking, calling for social justice, monotheism, and compassion. But such revolutionary ideas weren't exactly welcomed with open arms, Opposition was fierce and the early followers of Islam faced intense persecution. So where did they turn? Dar al-Rakam. This humble house owned by al-Arkam ibn Abi al-Arkam became a sanctuary. It was here that Muhammad gathered his followers, teaching and strategizing in secrecy. Imagine the tension, the risks. Yet, it was within these walls that a movement solidified. Dar al-Rakam wasn't just a safe house, it was the beating heart of early Islamic teachings. The followers here were diverse, men, women, the young, the old, rich and poor, unified by their belief. They learned, prayed and planned for a better future, all while under constant threat. Imagine the scene, Muhammad's voice resonating through the modest rooms instilling hope and resilience. Every meeting was a defiance against the oppressive norms of the time, and it worked. The movement grew, gaining strength and numbers. Eventually, the teachings of Muhammad spread beyond the walls of Dar al-Rakam, reaching far and wide, laying the foundation for what would become one of the world's major religions. Looking back, it's awe-inspiring to see how this small house played a crucial role in shaping history. Dar al-Rakam reminds us that even the humblest beginnings can spark monumental change. It's a testament to the power of ideas, community, and perseverance. So next time you think about the roots of great movements, remember Dar al-Rakam, a simple house that became the cradle of revolution. Thanks for watching, and stay curious history buffs. Catch you in the next deep dive.